I can't believe it made me feel really trippy and old, mm -hmm. and I kind of am. Uh, but backstage, <laughs> we were talking about it's been 10 years yeah, since we hit the air. I know, I know. But I am still in my 20s. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> put that out there. Yes. Yeah, so crazy, might. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Does it seem like that decade flew by for you? It. I mean, it was a trip, man. Um, I. Uh, it, it's crazy. It, it's one of those experiences, like. It feels like it was yesterday, but it also feels like it was 100 years ago. Yeah, at exactly. The same time, right? At the same time. It's yeah. A, uh, it's a paradox. Like, really kind of like is. raising a kid, I imagine. Or, yeah, or, yeah I, I'm, I, I just have and dogs. So, it, yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. I'm just a dogger. Yeah. So do people still stop you, fans of Glee? And mm. do they still react the same way? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. The people, like, will also, they, they'll, they'll just scream Glee at me. And I'm like, <laughs> which, I'm like, like, what am I supposed to? Like, oh, like, yes? Like, like, like <laughs> what, what do they How expect? How are you supposed to respond yeah. to that, right? Right. Like, oh, yeah, good observation. <laughs> not to do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. True. <laughs> so how did you make the transition from actor to author? And I mean, congratulations. New York Times bestselling author is not easy to do. Oh, thank you. Thank, you. thank you. I'm so happy people are still buying books uh, and reading too. books. Me too. Right? right, absolutely. Especially kids. Yeah, yes. uh, mm -hmm. uh, books are so important to me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my... I bought my apartment that I live in today mm. because of its proximity to the Strand bookstore. Oh, cool. My favorite place right. in the world. Yeah, it was, it was like my happy place too there. when yeah. I was a kid, yeah. So, mm -hmm. how did you get into becoming an author? Well, it's funny, I, uh, when I was a kid, uh, writing and acting was all the same thing to me because it was all- One extension, it was all about exact, stories. Right, it was, right. All, it was all like playing pretend in, right. in, in, a, in a, varieties, a variety of ways. Um, and I started writing uh, uh, my, my land story series um, which was, was the big series that came before this. What is this? this? Oh, yeah. The well, Land so, of Stories. Yes. I, when I was a kid, I, I started writing The Land of Stories. And this is a drawing that I drew when I was about seven or eight. Um, and so uh, then later in life, I got lucky and, and I was it on. It came true. It came true, yeah. And, That's and so, incredible. You were seven or eight? Yeah. Oh, my God, I'm going to I know. It's great. <laughs> And right. that's The Land of Stories is the New York Times best-selling mm -hmm. book, mm -hmm. and now it's becoming a film, yes? It is, yes, it is. Ah! Hey, yeah, crazy, right? Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm very excited. Very excited about that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what's that like? They so come to you and they say, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Are you going to direct? I am going to direct it, oh, yes. Wow. So, yeah, that was, I really, really held on to that. I, I did not want to give it to someone else to Well, you've been dreaming decide. this since you were seven. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I really... Was Who like, else could possibly know I, this? I know, I know. And, and sometimes, you know, they, they get a director in there that doesn't doesn't quite get the get the world and is, you know, using it as a stepping stone to get an, an Avengers movie or something. Right, right, you know? exactly. So I didn't want that to happen with this. You want this to be the passion yeah, I, of the director. Yeah, and I want it to be what the kids know. Know it to be, you know. I want it. I want you know the sets and the costumes to be what the kids are expecting. And well, give everybody mm -hmm. the the setup for the Land of Stories because this mm -hmm. is the prequel yes, to the Land yeah. of Stories. So, Land of Stories is about a pair of uh, brother and sister twins who inherit a magical storybook and um, enter the fairy tale world, and they have all these adventures with with fairy fairy tale characters. Um, and uh, this is, although it, it acts as a prequel, but I have to tell people it it you do not have to read the Land of Stories to to, to read this. To read this, yeah, yeah. When I, when I first started writing this. Uh, I, I thought it was going to be a very simple prequel. I, I think I was going to call it The Land Before Stories or something cheesy like that. Right. Um, but uh, it just, I, I, I felt the need because the state of the world to really try to write a, a story that would empower kids and, and teach them how to triumph over prejudice and sexism and, and other discrimination. And um, so and it really took on. That's the magic. That's the magic, that's yeah. The so it really magic. took on a life of its own. Yeah, that's so, beautiful. so I hope I get new readers with this one. Ah. Yeah, so, A Tale of Magic, I'm sure it's going to be yet another New York Times bestseller.